We got us a perm. I need to quit saying perm. We got us a relaxer. We got us a black rinse. We got us some um, acetone and a buffer to remove our nails. I need to take these glasses off. But when I take my glasses off, I feel dizzy. Baby, I done clipped my ends. Oh, baby, I done clipped my ends. I on this little part right here and all. Talk about that, we could talk about this. Talk about that, we could talk about this. Talk about that. Antonise Unfiltered. Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to a new vlog. I'm your girl, Antonise, and you are here on Antonise.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to all my A-listers. Hey, girl, hey. Now, if you are ne new here, near if you're new here <laughs> hello how are you and all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you can be a part of the a-list too okay y'all it's sunday it's our third sunday in our new city um we are headed to brunch so we're actually headed to brunch about an hour and something away from where we live um because i live in like a small city a small town i guess i would call it and there's a nearby town was our way that's kind of lit like it has you know, brunch. Y'all know I love some Sunday brunch. So we're going to get dressed and go to brunch there today. I'm trying to make sure that I stay in good lighting in this video. And I hope this lighting is good because I just edited a video last night to post today and the lighting was horrible. And like, girl, what are you doing? Like, we're doing this professionally. We got to get it together. But I just wanted to go ahead and kick off the vlog. I'm in here in the middle of doing my makeup. I want to make sure I'm getting dressed on time so I have enough time to travel. So, again, I just want to check in with y'all, say hey, kick the vlog off, and I probably will see y'all in the car. Good morning, y'all. So, it is Monday morning, um, January 15th. Happy Dr. Martin Luther King Day. <clears throat> um, I realized I never picked my camera back up yesterday. I apologize for that, y'all. We went to brunch. Um, after we left brunch, I actually came home and took a content class. Um, I had been wanting to take this class and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to take it. I prayed about it because um, it was kind of, it, it wasn't that it was expensive, but it was out of my budget. Okay. Um, so I prayed about it like, Lord, if this is something that I really need to do when I go in there to try to get it, let it still be available. And it was available. I paid for the class at 256 the class started at 3 o'clock. I feel like that was my sign to take that class. So, I did that. After I did that, I was very hyped and excited. So, then I worked on some more content. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm hungry. I'm actually taking me some bacon. I'm going to cut some eggs, too, and me some of these little pancakes. I hope these pancakes good. Because if not, I'm going to be pissed. And just wish I would have made me like a little bacon, egg, and cheese croissant because I still got one croissant though. But I wanted to try them pancakes. But anyway, after I got done with the class, I was very hyped about my content. So I just started working on that last night. And here we are today. So I've already done a reel and posted it this morning. Did my sabers routine. And now. I'm fixing something to eat so I can plan out some more content for the rest of the week. Because I want to start like planning my content out on Sundays for the week. I'm doing a 30 day challenge with the group who was in the um, content class yesterday. We're doing a 30 day challenge so we have to post a reel every day. I want to kind of plan it out. I think one of the biggest problems I have with content is I don't plan my content out. So today I want to plan my content for the rest of the week. So. I know y'all like, girl, you can't even talk to me. Them breaks, but they so good, y'all. Oh, they good. So, yeah, I'm just about to cook me something to eat, and then guess I'll check in with y'all after that. I done missed and broke my bacon. I'm trying to take it out of the pack. But anyway, let me get my eggs and stuff so I can get this little breakfast done, okay? I do that three more times again. I testify for you. I told I like you, that bitch. I do it all that I'm around. You're scared to do it. I'm not. As long as I 
with you joking now in for me I ain't got it Heart been skimming, looting, hide your body As long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem I don't got nobody just with you right now But the truth, I look better under you I can lose when I'm with you How can us lose and miss the moment? I ride with you, I feel like Scarface Like that white bitch with the bob, I'll be your main one Let's take this argument back up to my place Sex from my girl, I'm not violent, I'm your day one We had shit, yeah, it was magic, yeah Smash and grab shit, yeah Nasty habits take a hold when you're not here Ain't a home when you're not here I'll be growing when you're not here, I'm saying I can't lose Y'all, it's later and my little organic pancakes from earlier don't walk off, baby. I'm hungry. And I wanted to make, I got a little Trader Joe's lasagna that I want to make for later, but I needed some garlic bread. But I just thought about I got this garlic spread from Trader Joe's. And I said this would be really good on some bread, like to make some garlic bread. So I think I'm just make my own garlic bread. It was this that I had put on the pizza. Let me make sure I got enough. Because I don't feel like one of those though. Um, and I think I'm going to just make me like a little piece of toast and put this on there. And then, so I think I'm gonna just cook me a sausage right now. Y'all, I can't get this open. And then I will, um, what can I see, y'all? If I sit y'all down, y'all gonna be down so low, but, but I think I'm gonna just make me a sausage for that. And then I can make my lasagna for dinner. Cause it's for, oh yeah, I got plenty. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with that. This is just canola oil, garlic, lemon juice, citrus acid, and salt. But it's real good. It's it's real good. So I'm gonna make me some garlic bread with that upper right and now. I'ma just boil me an old Roger Wood, okay? Y'all eat Roger Woods? And we grow up on Roger Woods and y'all know I have to keep reminding y'all I don't eat pork, so this is the beef Roger Woods. Now the thing about this is it is hard to find beef Roger Woods in every, everywhere. Like some places don't carry them. Everybody carry the pork ones, but everybody don't carry the beef ones. So when I find them, I have to get them off. But this Walmart by me, apparently, I mean, well, seems to, they've had them every time I went in there. So I guess this is a pretty good Walmart over here. So yeah, we just gonna boil us a sausage. And we'll eat that for now. And then probably about two hours, I'll put that lasagna on. Cause it take an hour to cook, it's four o'clock now. Eat this sausage now. This is like my lunch. About two hours is about six o'clock. Put that lasagna on about six. It'll be done about seven. I probably won't eat about eight. Sign up later. Singapore, oh, the Maldives. We know where your money is. How can we make it all disappear? I am watching. In seconds. This Kevin Hart movie. Um, I think it's called The Lift. It's actually pretty good. It's not. It's not like a comedy like Kevin Hart usually do. And I'm actually enjoying this. So, I'm watching it. Eat me some goldfish. Until my sausage get ready. I think I'm going to make me a hookah too. I usually wait and make hookahs at night. I don't know why. Y'all probably say every time they get on here she eating. Now I'm sorry. Hold on. Alright y'all, so <clears throat> it's almost 9 o'clock. I said I was going to put my lasagna on at 6. I did not. <laughs> I'm just about to put it on now, but that's fine because they give me a chance to like shower and do my nighttime skincare routine and all the things before the lasagna is done. By the time I do all that, and I'm not like starving. I'm eating again. Every time I get hungry, y'all I get hungry. I know you can't tell, but I'm not like starving. <laughs> so, it'll be just fine. Oh, I need to make my collard bread. I forgot about that. But I still got time to shower and everything. Get out, make my little garlic. 
bread that I'm gonna make and all of the things. Um, I wanna find my movie to watch. I told y'all I watched the Kevin Hart movie earlier, and that was pretty good. And I wanna find it was it was a light. You had a little kiki here and there, but it was not like a comedy. Um, and I hope I can find me another movie like that because I enjoyed that. Like something light, not no killing, not you know what I'm saying. And you laugh a little bit, but not supposed to be a comedy kind of movie. So I'm looking for me another movie like that. I'll try to find me something when I get out the shower. Um, but yeah, I guess after I take me a shower and eat and everything, I'll be calling it a night. So I don't know if I'll be back tonight. See y'all tomorrow or something. Tomorrow we got to, um, tomorrow's Tuesday, so I need to prep the orders that I'm going to ship on Wednesday. And, oh, I need to do my Monday Minute tonight. I didn't only do it one time this year. I need to do it tonight. And I want to go live on YouTube and do it. I'm going to try that out and see how it works. So I'll probably do that after I got the shower and everything. So I guess let me get my night clothes and everything out so I can be ready to take my shower once I put my lasagna in the oven. Good morning, y'all. Well, good afternoon. Did I like make a difference? It do a little bit. Um, y'all, it is Tuesday, January 16th. And, um, what was I about to say? I don't know. Yeah, we're working from home today. We are working. Um, it's actually like 3 o'clock. I've been working since about 11. So, I'm back doing my work from home days. Um, but all I do is work from home now because I don't have no job. No real job. So, um, I'm just going to split my work from home days up in between the two things that I'm working on. So, I'm probably just going to work, do like four hours a day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. At least Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four hours. Do two hours a day on one thing, two to three. And then two to three hours on the next thing. So I work about four to six hours a day. Five hours average, three days a week. Really like pounding out this stuff. Because if I sit and actually work for the three hours straight, I really get a lot done. I've gotten so much done this morning. So I really get a lot done. So that should be suffice for now until I figure out what else I'm going to be doing. Um... So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe Fridays will be my work days. And I'll do three hours, probably starting at 11, 11, 12, 1, 2, take a break. So if I eat before 11, take my break at 2, like that's like my lunch break. Start back up at 3 and then do 3 to 6. I think that'll work. I don't know where that thing just went. Well, it's better. So that's going to be the schedule, y'all, until we have work that's outside of the house. It was raining today. So y'all know I'm definitely not going out in that rain. We've had this conversation. Um, I do need to go to Walmart though. I need to go to Walmart because I don't have nothing to drink. I had a couple of things I need to get to. I need to go to Walmart and there's somewhere else I needed to go. I can't think of where it's at, but evidently it must be important. So I'm about to make me a hookah. I had made me a bacon egg and cheese sandwich this one. I meant to show it to y'all, but I forgot. Um, so I am making me a hookah right now because y'all know I do my best thinking when I'm smoking my hookah. So I'm going to make me a hookah so I can finish up my work. It's Tuesday. I want to do, I want to go somewhere and get me some tacos, like a taco Tuesday kind of thing. Let me call the girls and see what they are doing today. And I'll call y'all back. All right, y'all. So I have been working now for about four hours. It is, I don't know what time it is. But I want to go to Publix. Like I'm thinking about going out there. I want to go to Publix. Um, I need to go to the house though. That's where I need to go. I need to at least go get me some shampoo and conditioner. Because if I take this out of my hair, I don't even have shampoo and conditioner to wash my hair. And I really want to do my permanent rinse. So I probably need to go get me a permanent rinse and shampoo and conditioner. I need to see where it has to land. So but I looked up Publix. And the closest Publix is like 15 minutes away. I haven't been anywhere that is 15 minutes away from me. Everywhere I go, Trader Joe's, Walmart, all that stuff is five to six minutes away. So Publix seems so far. But I really want me a sweet tea and lemonade because I've been drinking that Milo sweet tea lemonade from Walmart where it's already mixed. Um, and I like to mix my own because I like three quarters of tea and one quarter lemonade. So there seems to be a beauty supply store six minutes away it's one mile so i could go get me a perm and a black rinse 
and then but if I'm permanent rinsing my hair like what am I doing to my hair after the permanent rinse like what am I doing to my hair I used to not do like ponytails and stuff I don't think I know how to do that no more but I kind of want to try it um I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I'm feeling so fucking adventurous like girl you know you don't know how to do this stuff but I really um a good little sleek little pony I don't know, y'all. Let's yeah, let's go to the hair salon. So we're gonna go to the beauty salon, so, and then we're gonna go to Publix. I need to take my trash out, which I can take my trash outside the door, but I have a box that I need to take to the dumpster. And then I also need to get my packages from the package room. I be trying to make it make sense when I go out the door. I like to have a lot of things to do, so I'm not just going out in this cold for one thing. And matter of fact, let me see how cold it is. Oh, it's 38 degrees. I can throw on a little sweatsuit to me fine. So let me get ready, and I'll be back. Look at her. 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 That ain't my, that ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drives with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey, sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in the house, oh, damn, yeah, Okay, y'all, hair store was a success. We got us a perm. I need to quit saying perm. We got us a relaxer. We got us a black rinse. We got us some um, acetone and a buffer to remove our nails. We got... What else did I get? Oh, some shampoo and some conditioner. Because I ain't sure if I'm going to relax my hair tonight or if I'm going to just um, wash it in... Um, and condition it because I did bring me three weeks so I can't always put on like my little bald wig or something and I think I'm gonna say to relax so for when I find somebody to do my hair I can go ahead and just relax my own hair um and, but I am gonna take these nails off like I I hate when nails be looking like this so we're gonna take them off now let's find us a Publix oh, never knew no I never knew that you be a freak and a friend too yeah you into everything I'm into. Ho, I got something that I can lend you. Ho, a piece of mind, baby. Come and get a piece of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I feel so loud and leave. I'm like, y'all, we back home from the store. I just put some more batteries in my light because I think all of my videos was looking so dim. But baby, it's bright up in here now. I'm about to clean my hookah real good because lately, well, the day and yesterday when I smoked my hookah, it didn't taste, um, like I can't taste the flavors real good. It just kind of tastes like smoke. So, um, my friend told me I need to clean it real good. So I got some lemons and I'm gonna put some vinegar and stuff in it. And I got me like a baby bottle brush. I just took the trash out. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I got me like a baby bottle brush cleaner. So I can really get up in there and clean it good. So I'm gonna just let it soak in like some dish water. I'm gonna take it all apart. And let it all soak in some dish water. Cause yeah. I did order me a new um silicone bowl. It'll be here tomorrow. And I ordered me a new some new foil paper. That'll be here tomorrow too. But I went and got the brush things out of Dollar Tree. Like just the baby brush. You know. But we're gonna clean this. I got me a soap from public. Thank y'all saw that. I got me a sub from Publix. Um, the Publix is, I went to Publix today. It was like, the crazy thing, oh, y'all can't even see me. I'm way over here. The crazy thing about it was Publix was 15 minutes to get there, but it only was nine minutes to get back home. So that was crazy. Um, however, I think that's the closest Publix to me. I did realize today that Publix, um, well, Publix, Sweet tea and lemonade, so that's what I went for. 
it was way cheaper here. Almost a dollar, because it was like two sixty nine dollars here. At home, I used to say, if they were on sale, they were two for seven. So that's three fifty, dollars right? Yeah. So the sweet tea and lemonade, much cheaper here. I'm happy about that. I also was able to find, hold on, need some Louisiana hot sauce. Because you cannot find, I've been to three or four different stores looking for Louisiana hot sauce. I haven't been able to find none. So I was able to find some here. I mean, at the public. So I appreciate that. So I just put um, dish water. I and mean, I just put Dawn liquid detergent in this water. And I'm going to take all the pieces apart. Cause baby, we need to be, we are, it's already have a jump this water to be so we need to make sure it's clean as possible. So it won't be no more unhealthy than what it already is. And I wanted to, I'm going to squeeze the lemon, put some of this in here. And see, I just got the, I got this kind of baby brush, brush thing so I with a small end so that I can clean the hole and then I got this. So I can, I hope this fit in here. So I can clean this out. And here, clean y'all hoopers, man. Like, make sure y'all are cleaning them out really good. Like, they ain't got no film or nothing in them. You probably want to do like a deep cleaning on it like once a week. We're just using some vinegar water, and I'm gonna put a little lemon in here too. It smells, oh, I love the way lemon smells. Weird, ain't it? Cause I'm gonna clean that like that, and then I'm also gonna let it sit. A little dish water in it. Yeah, I like how it looks already. I'm gonna put a little more vinegar in there. And then I'm gonna just let this sit and soak for a while. I'm trying to decide, I'm gonna take my hair tonight. I'm trying to decide if I want to um am I just gonna am I gonna just wash my hair and condition it or am I gonna um, put the relax in it? Because I did get a relax. I know I wanna take my nails off tonight. I got some work I got to finish from earlier, so I'm gonna do that first. And then once I do that, I'll play around with the nails and hand all that. So honestly, if I don't get that done tonight, who cares? But I do want to get my work done tonight. Yeah, see how this small end of this can go right in there? And clean it. If you have not cleaned your hookah and you smoke hookah, take your hookah apart, clean it. Make sure you are cleaning it real good. All in the cracks and crevices and stuff. See how I got that all up? Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I got both of them because that would have been too big. And then I'm just let it soak. The holes, the same thing. Put that in there as well as I can just put it. And I cleaned it every time I use it, but like a good deep cleaning. I probably haven't, I know I haven't done it since I've been here. So, it was time. Yeah. I'm gonna let everything, just let everything sit and soak for a little while. When I get through that, I wash these dishes and decide what I'm gonna do about my hair. I need to make that decision ASAP. Did I show y'all my new stuff I got off my Amazon list today? I don't know if y'all can see what over here, but it's a gold paper towel holder. And I got a gold toilet paper holder too. I already put it in the bathroom. I'll show y'all that later. But yeah. If you want to buy me something off my Amazon list, let me know. I'll send you the link. All right, y'all. So everything is clean with the hookah. It's been sitting. I forgot it was in there. So it's been sitting for a while. 
um, we're about to go ahead and make us a hookah and see if this help any. Um, I just put it all back together and everything. And we're gonna go ahead, like I said, I'm about to fire it up and let's see what we working with, okay? I'm thinking about this water, y'all. It be cold. It be cold, okay? I guess because it's so cold, feel like. And to me, the hot water really don't get that hot. Not like the hot water. The hot water in my last apartment, baby, that thing will burn your socks off, okay? And this water here don't get that hot like that. Now, it seems a whole lot warmer now than it usually is. I started to call them and ask them, though, can they, um, Come adjust the water here to go make it a little hotter. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make the hookah and I'll check back in with y'all and let y'all know how that turned out, okay? Oh. Okay, y'all, I want y'all to know that I did fix my hookah. It turned out amazing. So it just needed to be clean. Um, I'm about to go ahead, it is 11 o'clock. I'm about to go ahead and pack my orders. I have orders, um, I ship orders on Wednesdays. So I have an order that I have to ship to orders that I have to ship tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack them up tonight. So tomorrow I have to do is get them out the door and get them to the post office. Um, other than that, I'm probably about to call them tonight. I ate my public. So yeah. So that's probably it. I'll see y'all tomorrow when we get to moving. All right, y'all. For right now, this is my storage area. Judge not. And I just kind of go through um, my orders that I have on Shopify and just kind of put them all together. I'm about to order 12 cups. 12 cups. 12 cups. Mm, somebody order four cups. Somebody ordered a cup, a book, a cup, two books, some sticky notes. Um, two books and another cup. So this is gonna be easy. I get this done in just a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack all this up. And I keep saying I'll see y'all tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> It's 20 degrees outside. Let's start there. And I know I moved and I said I wanted to move where it was cold and all that, but damn. And then I don't just want it to be cold. Like it gotta snow with the cold. It just I don't just want it to be cold. Like I want to see snow. Let it snow. Let it snow outside. If it ain't snow, what it's cold for? I ain't never seen snow before though. Anyway, y'all know I'm from Florida. And I'm, I ain't never seen snow. Snow one time my whole life, 1989. Christmas of 1989. It was a little bit of ice on the road. Everybody got in a whole bunch of cars in this. But y'all, that ain't why I'm here. I came back on here because I just posted a reel on Instagram. Y'all, and you can see the back of my hair on the reel. When I tell y'all the back of my motherfucking hair so peasy, it is a shame, okay? It's a shame, but baby. I just realized I didn't show y'all what I got from the house though, today. It's a shame. And I am coming my hair tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So I got the olive oil relaxer. Let's stop on the turn. They got me some caps to process. Got me a little brush to put it in my hair. I got me some acetone so I can remove these nails. Put me a this to buff off the, you know, the top coat. Then I got me um LA Pro concealer. I got like tan. I had all the fun off of Amazon. It was $6 on Amazon. It's three ninety nine dollars in the house store. I'm going back to the house store. And the house store is down the street. Um, and I had got fun. I hadn't used this in a long time. When I put that fun on, I had like I did. So I got me a light pen. I got me a jet like wrist. And I had got me some um, conditioner and shampoo. This cream of honey, pure honey, moisturizing, dry defense, conditioner and shampoo. Because my hair be real, real dry like. Time I let it snow, let it snow. So I had got these because I was just gonna wash my hair, but grow a piece in the back of my hands, I got to put a relax in my hair tomorrow. And I told you I don't know how to, I don't know what I'm gonna do after I do that, but I'm gonna relax it, and I am gonna um put this black rinse in it. Cause it's it's gray as hell too. So between the damper and the gray, child, if I guess I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna grease my scalp. I don't know. I'm gonna take this shower, y'all. But I just want to show y'all what we got from the hair store. And yeah, we're gonna do us a perm tomorrow. Okay? I know it's called a relaxer. I know it's called a relaxer. I like to call it a perm. My grandma called it a perm. I call it a perm. Okay? So we're gonna do us a perm tomorrow. Hey, y'all. So it is Wednesday. 
It's about two o'clock, y'all. As you can see, I done took my hair out. So my hair is out. I'm about to put a relax in my hair. So I haven't relaxed my hair in probably so I've I was natural for nine years. Previous, I mean, after that, it's been almost two years since I've had a relax again. Um, so, in previous to that, I probably hadn't relaxed my hair in three or four years. So, it's probably been about 15, 12 to 15 years since I put a relax in my hair myself because I usually go to salon. But y'all know, we're in a new place. I haven't found me a stylist. My hair needs to be relaxed. We're going to get it done. So, I, I mean, let's get to it. <laughs> Hold on, let me try to pop y'all up or something. Alright y'all, here we go. I think I got it all mixed up. So this was the <clears throat> olive oil. I used to use African Pride. And yesterday I didn't see no African Pride. But then I noticed that African Pride had kind of rebranded itself. So, I don't know if I overlooked it or what. Because I saw it when I was getting ready to go out the door. I saw some shampoos and conditioners and stuff. <clears throat> and the labeling looked different from what I was used to. So I thought, oh, they probably they did a rebranding. And I ain't know nothing about it, you know? So, I need to take these glasses off. But when I take my glasses off, I feel dizzy. Like, maybe I got my gloves on. And I even read the directions. So, hopefully... Let's go start like I can't see y'all. So let's start like in the middle of my head. So hopefully. My both sections. I hope this don't burn. My scalp be real dry, so I've been trying not to scratch my hair all night. Maybe that's why I had to go ahead and get up and take those braids out because if not, I know for sure I was gonna be in a scratch somewhere. I wasn't supposed to be in a scratch. I'm gonna have to take these glasses off with not on my stair. Baby, I saw the back of my neck yesterday, and my edges around the back of my neck was so peasy. That's how I knew I had to get up and get this done today because it ain't no reason. In which, I have been wearing styles that only require like a little piece of my hair to be out. My own style, shit. So, whatever part of my hair is out is what has been getting a relaxer, so like the part of the front or the edges or whatever but I just haven't been having to relax over my whole hair so the back of my hair probably ain't been relaxed about a year so but I don't want to give I don't want nothing to give natural I don't want to give no natural no 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 I, I, I don't want I want it to be straight I want everything straight yeah I don't want to go for that natural look like I'm trying to be natural like I'm growing my hair out none of that no I did that. I didn't like it no more. I'm beyond that. I don't want to do it no more. Okay? Y'all, my arms are tired. I did that. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm starting to have a little tingle. But I'm trying to make sure these edges is done did what they need to do. Especially around this hip bite. Because, baby, this hair was pizza. Okay? And I'm probably not doing this right. I'm not a licensed cosmetologist. This is my own hair. Hey. And I hope I don't have to do this again. For another 12, 15 years. Because I've been up found somebody to do my hair. Okay. So I don't really need no advice. I don't need no advice. This ain't all the time thing. This is just something we doing today. Okay. We got to rinse it out. 
All right, y'all, so my hair has been relaxed. Now I have a black rinse in it, so I'm gonna just let this sit in here for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then, this is one thing I don't hate, I mean, I don't miss, is having all this dog on water in your ear from washing your hair in the sink. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm about to let this rinse. I'm gonna put a um, bag on here so I can let this rinse sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then we gonna rinse this out. Right, y'all. Now I don't know what's gonna happen now, but all I know is my hair is not nappy, it's not dusty brown, and it ain't gray. Okay? <laughs> all this is right in the world, okay? I don't know what to do. Like now, I don't. I, I definitely don't know what to do over here. I guess I'm gonna blow dry. And then, girl, I don't know. I can't do no little bun because it's gonna be so thin because the little ponytail so little. I don't know, let's blow dry it in there. We'll see what we got. Oh, where's the blow dryer? Oh, water just ran out my ear. I'm supposed to go on this event tonight. It's from six to eight. I really don't feel like it. I did tell my home that I would go with her, but I don't really feel like it. Yeah, I don't really feel like it. And I really don't feel like it nice since I don't. Which I could just put on a wig. I told her I brought three wigs with me just to have for backup. So I really could just put on a wig. And I probably need to curl one of the wigs to have. But baby, I don't know how to dress in this well, but I'm gonna be honest, like, do I put on tennis shoes? Do I put on clothes? Like, what do I do? I don't know. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna attempt to try to like, wrap my hair up. Don't forget, this is all an experiment because Y'all, my whole life is an experiment at this point. Like, <laughs> but baby, these people don't know me. So if I go outside with my real hair, like they don't expect nothing different because they don't know me. So if I'm going to experiment, this is the time. Am I wrapping it right? Y'all know I can't see without my glasses on. I feel like I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to take my shower. I'm currently cooking me some um Trader Joe's. Orange chicken and some um vegetable fried chicken fried rice, I think. So I'm about to take me a shower, I'm about to pop the chicken in the oven and take me a shower and then I will um do the rice when I get out the shower. what my goal is with my hair if I'm being honest like I don't know what I'm expecting or what I really want my hair done like I want me some long pretty layers and with some waves or curls or something but baby oh this gonna have to do for now because oh there we go wrap that thing right on up Y'all, I can't even think straight without my glasses on. Y'all don't notice anything I'm doing something I have to, if I don't have my glasses, baby, I have to put my glasses on to be able to see what's going on because without my glasses, whew, the world is the world even a place when I don't have glasses on. I really made a big old mess in here today with all this hair stuff, but we can put some trash. I was wondering why I had so much perm left. I forgot you're supposed to put it in the refrigerator for your touch up. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna throw it away, but remember that's what you used to do with it. No, I like y'all forgot. <sighs> I hope my butt hanging out of this in this video while I keep bending my ass over. Okay. Let me go put my chicken in the oven so I can get in the shower. Hey y'all. So y'all we flat out our hair today. <laughs> Baby, I done clipped my ends on this little part right here and all. Oh. So we're heading out the door. Um, we got packages to mail. You know, we're supposed to win the mail packages yesterday. We did not. So we're heading out the door to go mail um, mail them today. I gotta make one stop to Office Depot. Also gotta go to UPS and Walgreens. I need to take a passport picture um, for an application I filled out for. 
need this pamphlet picture, then I gotta get it notarized at the UPS store. So we on our way out the door to go do all that. So I'll see y'all probably in the car. My bad, y'all. When I get on the road, I be forgetting about y'all. So we just left the post office. We actually went to the post office and we went to um Walgreens. I was supposed to feel like we've been so many places, but I stopped at Chick-fil-A, went to CVS first. They passed what picture machine thing was down. So we just went to Walgreens, got that done. Now I gotta go to the UPS store. The forms that I need to get uh, notarized at the UPS store, I've got to print them out. But I'm sure they can print them at the UPS store. So I'm gonna have to get these forms printed out and get the paper notarized. But I couldn't do that until I got the actual passport pictures to show, because they're, they're verifying that this is me on the picture that I'm submitting. It's a lot. So, long story short, we are headed to the UPS store and it's supposed to be in this same little plaza that I'm in. But I gotta see where it's at. <clears throat> Hold on, let me pull up my directions. So I think this UPS though is back here. Okay, this is telling me to turn this way and ain't little I turn this way and go back this way. So why can't I just go out this way? Let's see, can I go out this way? Oh, I forgot this meal. All right, y'all, we done got everything done that we need to do. Except I got one more package that I got to mail off. And I didn't mail it because I need a big box. I need a real big box. And I forgot to stop the Home Depot, Office Depot somewhere and get the box. So now let me see how far an office max oh i'm tired shit an office max or an office depot or something else office max let me see when i put that in it's a bunch of them going that way what about i wonder what home depot I just need the box. And it's so crazy because I usually have so many, um, so many, um, hold on y'all, hold on, hold on. Hello. All right, y'all, I'm in here and I'm attempting to wrap my hair up tonight. Y'all, so we got a lot done today. Um, actually went to the post office, mailed off all my packages, went to, got my paper notarized that I need to be notarized, I put the passport picture on there that I need to put on there. Um, what else? When I tried these tacos from this taco place I had heard about, mm, the tacos were okay. They're not like the tacos that, you know, that I used to post from back home. <sighs> so tomorrow, the only thing I got to do, I got one more package I got to mail, but I need a big box for it. And all the big boxes that I have, they're too big and I don't want it like rambling around in the box. So I'm going to go find a big box for that tomorrow and ship it off. Um... I'm also really close to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I think I'm at like 982 or something like that. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm just sitting here thinking about how I'm living and some of the prayers that I prayed. And I'm also feeling like this whole thing has been a journey of my faith and it has been a journey of it's, it's just I mean, it's just been a journey. Um, I think that I, I had to move because there were some situations and some things that the Lord needed to remove me from that I wasn't going to remove myself from had I stayed in my same place. And now I'm thinking, if you've been here for a while, you know how important it is for me to have like my lashes done and my hair. Even when my hair kind of looked bad, it's always... Me planning my next hairdo and going to get my lashes done, keeping my nails done. Look at my look how bad my nails look. I'm taking them off. I was supposed to took them off yesterday or today, but I'm getting press ons in the mail tomorrow. So, and like I still got press ons, strip lashes, wigs, and all that. But just to have to be separated from the things that I ain't gonna say I feel like those things made me who I am, but those were a part of my identity. My nails, my lashes, my hair. That's a part of who I am. I go get my hair done. I go get my lashes done. I go get my nails done. And now to be here in this situation 
where I feel like God is like scraping me down to, and I'm not gonna say the bare minimum, but scraping me down to remind me who I am. Um, this whole journey, this whole journey has been, I don't even know how to explain it, y'all. I don't even have contacts. I got this one pair of contacts. That's why I wear my glasses so much because I need to order contacts. I need to go to the eye doctor. And I didn't want to order contacts. And I know I probably need a new prescription. So I only have this one pair of contacts. So I take these contacts for when I'm getting ready to go out. And so that's why I've been wearing my glasses so much. So it's like I'm stripped down to the bare minimum of who I am. Because I need to get to know me as this person that I am now. Not the me that I knew years ago. Not I've never been alone. Like I have always had my children. And to be honest, I always had a man, like in and out, in and out. But at the end of the day, I most of the time I've had a man. Most of my adult life. So to be in a new city by myself, my children not here, no man not here, it's just me. It's just me. And I'm not crying because I'm sad. It's just, it's very, it's a lot. It's overwhelming. It's a lot, but it's like I'm really getting to the core of who I am. Um, I think I'm learning things about myself. But it's just, it's just, it's been a lot. <laughs> it's been a lot. I saw my brother today. He came to meet me. I went to the post office. He drives trucks and he was driving through here. And so he came to meet me. Um, That was nice. That's like my first visitor. But you know, he was one of the last people I saw because he helped me actually move in. So, yeah, this is this journey has been a lot if you are thinking about moving out of town and moving away from your family just know do it because it has been rewarding like i'm still so proud of myself that i made it happen however it's a lot it's a lot y'all my underarm can y'all see that you see right here where it's like a rash and when i used to get my arms waxed it would do that, and I didn't know if the wax was too hot or what, but it is very tender and it hurt. Um, but this, I shaved under my arms like three days ago. And I shaved because, again, I don't have a, a wax person yet. So, I shaved under my arms, but now it's doing that same little rash thing. And I put Vaseline on it earlier because I was like, wait, is it getting, is it rubbing and getting irritated? I don't know what it is, but I do know it hurt. It hurt. And sometimes it's doing it on both sides, but that side is not doing it. But this side, see that whole little red rash right now? And it's so tender and it hurts so bad. I don't know what's happening to me. Hey y'all. So it is Saturday um, morning. I don't think I picked up the camera none at all yesterday. Y'all, I'm gonna go home. Like, <laughs> I'm really having a bad, like, I'm not gonna say I'm having a bad day, but I'm having a bad moment. I really want to go home. Like, I miss my family. I miss my kids. Like, I want to go home. Like, I really want to go home. Um, I just don't want to be here today. And I mean, I know they don't, I, I can't go home, but just I'm just having a moment where I want to go home. I'm hungry. <laughs> I might be crying because I'm hungry. But I'm hungry and I had me like a Egg and cheese sandwich this morning, but I'm still hungry, so I'm finna make me like a little Trader Joe's pizza. Like a little personal thing, I'm definitely on the pizza, but y'all, I just wanna go home. Like, I miss my family. Like, I wanna go get me something to eat. You gotta let the car warm up before you go get something to eat, cause it's so cold. Like, who feel like doing all that? So I might as well just figure out what to eat. You know what I'm saying, in the house. I don't really feel like going out the door, but I am lonely, and I miss my family, I miss my friends, and I want to go home. I want to go home. Um, that's not what I got on here for, but I just was thinking about it when I was getting on here. But y'all, I'm finna make me, like I said, I'm about to make me a little personal pan pepperoni pizza from Trader Joe's. I'll put y'all up here so y'all, if I lean y'all down, can y'all see? Um, I'm using the little garlic naan bread 
And this is a little spicy piece of recipe I got off of um, TikTok, of course. And they make it with the whole pizza dough, the whole um, Trader Joe's pizza crust. But however, like, I like this because it's small enough for me to just eat by myself. Now, I made me one of these pizzas last night. And I made it $2 on hot. I couldn't even eat it because it was too spicy. So I have to make sure that I don't make it too spicy today. And it's this right here. It's this. This stuff is real spicy. So I'm going to have to make sure I go light with that today. Shoot, I'm going to eat it. Um, yeah, this whole moving thing has been a journey. Like, every time I think I'm, I'm okay, um, like, I just want to go home again. So, yeah, I have a headache, probably from crying, I don't know. But I'm going to make this little pizza, and hopefully that make me feel somewhat better. So, this little pizza, you put this little garlic paste and now another thing is is I realized I don't need a lot of this either because this bread this um I think it's called non bread it's like a little flat bread thing it already has like garlic in it or on it or something so we're just gonna spread a thin little layer of that I don't know why I just wanna rip that plastic off the top of there and we're gonna go in with this one we're gonna spread this real thin because Yes, I'm using the same spoon. I think that's enough. And we're gonna just spread that out all over the whole little pizza because last night, and this might be too much again today. I hope it ain't, but it might be. Cause last night I couldn't even enjoy the one thing. It was saying my day was up. And this little pizza is real simple. And all the ingredients is really kind of done. So you basically just pop it in the oven. To melt your cheese. This guy iced me out on a date, y'all. I really don't feel like going. Let y'all see me. Oh, come on, camera. I really don't feel like going. However, I'm finding a man. One second I'm crying about being lonely, and the next minute, man asked me out. I don't even want to go. So I've been on a date site saying, I mean, hey. Guy from the dating site, we matched on yesterday. He asked me out today. He has been married twice though. So I feel like that could be kind of like a real flag. Or maybe third time's a charm, you know? <laughs> but I don't know, I just know that he was, um, he did ask way quicker than any of the other guys. So I think that's a good thing. He asked me for my number, he didn't text, he called. So I like that. Um, so we've actually talked on the phone twice since yesterday. And then he asked me out today to meet up with him tonight. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. Keep you guys updated on what happens with that. Of course, we put in pepperoni. Y'all know I don't eat pork, so a little turkey pepperoni on our pizza. Let me drop it down so y'all can see. Oh, what? Ciao. So this is what the little pizza looks like. And I'm just gonna pop it in the oven for a few minutes. And then, um, usually this just takes about five to seven minutes for it to get done. And then, yeah. That's it, oh, add a little arugula and, hold on, y'all. So once it's done, you add arugula, hot honey, and, um, balsamic to the top of it so it's like a sweet and spicy pepperoni pizza i'll let y'all see it when i take it out of the oven but i'm just gonna pop it in the oven right now all right all the pizza is done I'm trying to i'm gonna be lazy trying not to have to walk away over there but i was i need to turn right on anyway so it's And this is what it looks like. So, and like again, I'm just gonna put the arugula on top, and then I'm gonna put some hot honey and some um, hot honey and uh, balsamic glaze on it, y'all. So the guy just followed up. I do have a date tonight. I want to take my nails off. I order press-ons, 
Um, the date is at eight. It is now about 4.20. So, I wanna start getting dressed about six so that I can be ready and be there on time. Y'all think I got enough time to take these off and do press-ons? Or even just take these off, even if I don't put the press-ons on. These nails look so bad, and I just don't wanna meet nobody with these nails. Another dilemma that I'm having is my hair. Um, do I wanna wear my real hair? Do I wanna put a wig on? It's funny because when we talked on the phone, he talked about how this lady came and met him for the first time her hair wasn't done. And I don't feel like my hair is done with the, I guess I'm gonna just try to fix it up so that I really gotta get started, getting ready to start getting ready at six. I can't even talk. Um, so we can see the real hair and see where we go from there. But I'm gonna try to take these nails off now. So I'll be back. All right, y'all, so these are the press-ons that I was recommending to get. And the reason why, oh, open it up. Y'all, so I'm sitting here watching my, um, vlog i'm actually editing this vlog and i realized that the rest of my footage was deleted but i need y'all to know that i ended up going to the nail shop to get my nails removed came back home got dressed for the date the guy stood me up if you want to know what happened please go look at my tiktok on antonis.com on tiktok but i just want to come back and let you guys know that because i didn't want to just leave y'all hanging and y'all already know how I feel. If y'all made it this far in the vlog, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I really do appreciate y'all for watching. Don't forget to like and comment on this vlog. And again, go check out what happened on the day on my TikTok. But um, just thank y'all for tuning in. And y'all already know how this go. If you haven't subscribed, what the hell are you waiting for? Till next time. Bye. One one. What's the four one one? What's the four one one? What's the four one one?